This is going to be a very, very short vlog. As you guys saw in the last vlog, Paul got COVID. I kicked him out. He wanted to go stay with, at his parents' house so he wouldn't get sushi sick or <laughs> myself sick. Guys, he got me sick. We are no longer part of the elite group. We are now part of the, of the, we're now part of the statistic. I'm not the happiest, but thankfully we have great news. Sushi is not showing signs of sickness. It's been a couple of days now. Yeah. Nothing, so good. So we are, we have a team here helping us with sushi while we kind of quarantine in our room. You know, once I found out I had COVID, I was like, Paul, just, just come back here. Yeah, because this is what happened. I started feeling bad. It was like a Wednesday. Yeah. I progressively went downhill very rapidly Wednesday night. Thursday morning, I woke up even worse. From there, went to the hospital. I didn't know I had COVID because I did at-home tests as well as I went to Centricare and they did testing there too. All was negative. So I was like, I have to have some maybe upper respiratory infection because I felt it here. Yeah, just, yeah. And I got pneumonia. I was like, watch this be a walking pneumonia just like I had a few years ago. So, okay, great. Went, <coughs> went to the hospital. They did all testing, x-rays, everything. everything. And then at the very end, the, the physician assistant comes in. You got COVID. I was like, gotta be kidding me. Like, whatever. Um, I had a fever of 102. It was not going down. It wasn't. It wouldn't break. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... The, this is where the confusion laid in. They told me I cannot take any antivirals for the COVID because it has interactions with my medication. I was like, that sucks. I just got to ride this one out. Then they're, they're like, do you want to be hospitalized at least for overnight just to make sure your fever comes down? I was like, yeah, that, that sounds fine. No big deal. The internist comes and goes, why don't you go home and I'll give you the antiviral? I was like, oh, they told me that I don't qualify. He's like, let me call the pharmacist and double check, but watch this. He went, came back, and he's like, yeah, no, you're you're good. You can take it, but you can't take it inpatient. The rules of Governor Ron DeSantis is that we can give you the antiviral, but it's only for outpatient. We can't give it to you in the hospital. I was like, that's so stupid, very weird. He's like... So stupid with Paul being so complex. Even the doctor said, I would love for you to stay, honestly. And see how this medication goes for you because it's best for you to be monitored but he's like but for florida state law you can't which mm -hmm. i was so annoyed with but i am immunocompromised so that's why i can take the antivirals so what happened is that he told me he's like i can get it for you before you leave here i can give you the first dose but you cannot be i cannot hospitalize you and then give you this antiviral so he's like if you stay here I'm just giving you Tylenol. I can't give you anything else. Ridiculous. So I was like, okay, screw it. Just give me the, the meds and let me go home. I and they gave knew. it to me. I never knew COVID was such a political thing. Seriously, this, this is a health issue turned political issue. We've known this for years and it's just... Ridiculous. It's so stupid in this day and age that we have to deal with this type of yeah. stupidity. Even the doctor, like I said, was just like, I really would love for you to stay put. Yeah, you he can't. was very nice. He was just like, I get it, you have Crohn's. I mean, there's so much going on for you. It would be best for you to stay. But no, so. But they gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel a lot better. Like, within 12 to 24 hours, I, I don't have a fever no more. No more headaches, no more body aches. I'm good. When they came into the hospital Ooh. room and said, pod COVID, I was like, I'm out. Ew, gross. And the doctor she just... Bathed in the hand sanitizer. The doctor just looked at me. And she's like, it's too late. And you've already been compromised. And I was like, I know. Because guess what? That same day, me and Paul went on a date. We were eating the same food. I was eating off his plate. Oh. So... It's impossible for a couple to not get it. I was really hoping that I wouldn't get it. But yesterday, I... Didn't think so. I still stayed away from sushi. My mom took care of the baby. You know, I social distance, and it it was real. Finally, when I got a fever of a hundred and eight or something like that. One hundred one point eight. There you go. Then I was like, one hundred and eight. You're 
That's brain damage. Oh, I said 100.8. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. Well, I have such brain fog, so when I'm editing this, I'll be like, did I say the right thing or not? So, when I had the fever, I was like, I'm sick. But I instantly yesterday did a at-home teledoc appointment. And just in case I was this, like, I need the same medications they sent to Paul. And I told him, you know, I've been exposed to him. They sent it to me happily, no problem, which is great. I took it yesterday. I wasn't even feeling anything yet yesterday when I took it. I took it and within, like, I want to say a half an hour, that's when the fever started going. But then the medication was finally in my system. So I am lucky I was able to stop it in time. So, oh, yeah. I don't really have a cough. I don't have a sore throat. Paul has all this that he's still recovering from right now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, he was throwing up. I was on the verge of throwing up when the fever was hitting me. Like, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Like, it's getting to that point. Didn't throw up, thankfully. The medication kicked in and really helped. So, I do feel fine. The problem is, is that it's COVID and the medication. I have such horrible horrible diarrhea i just had a bite of a biscuit ran to the bathroom within what mm -hmm. five minutes yeah seriously so that's what's kind of knocking me down is the diarrhea and also i have like just some pressure right here as if a migraine's about to start i haven't had a headache or anything it's just probably a little body aches there you go so my COVID versus Paul COVID, Paul was getting into his COVID at like 90%. There you go. Like his was at 90% ready to just make his life a living hell. It was for the first it was already 30 made. hours I was suffering like yeah. you have no idea. Then me, I probably only experienced maybe the onset was starting. Yeah. But I've only experienced, let's say like about 20% of COVID. Yeah, because Janice had symptoms for like three to four hours and then instantly we she got she started taking the the antiviral me i was like 30 plus hours yeah before i started taking the antiviral so the antiviral it stops the virus from replicating in your body so her she has a much lower dose of viruses to her body to fight off mine is a little bit worse i feel good but i still need time to yeah, he's been on the antiviral a lot longer than me which is great um, so he's like on his fourth or fifth dose. I'm like still on Ooh. my dose three. So guys, who knew we were going to get COVID? But all that matters, honestly, is that Zalia doesn't. And we will be so happy. Yeah, we're doing our best. Ooh. We sanitized, cleaned everything, everything we've touched. We've been in this room the whole time. The nanny is taking care of her. My mom took care of her yesterday. My dad brought breakfast. Paul's mom also brought us breakfast. So it's really nice to have a team behind us during this difficult time. So guys, this is where we ended. Me and Paul are just going to binge watch anime. We're watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I got Paul into it. Yeah, she did. The fight scenes are amazing. I can't watch, wait to watch the new season because I've been waiting. For Paul to catch up, so oh, I can't wait. You guys know if you guys are into anime, Gojo. Mm -hmm. You got Paul's interested in Gojo too, right? Yeah, he's 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 my favorite character in the series. Sexiest character alive. I told Paul to get me a body like a body pillow suit of Gojo. I'm not that into it. So this is where we end it, guys. I'm gonna take it easy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It truly means the world to us. Don't forget we post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, and even with COVID, we still are posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's the fastest I've ever said that line before. So guys, for now, stay safe. COVID is actually spiking again. So that's why we got it. Near the hospital, they said it was full. A lot of people have it, so. So, yeah, yeah we're, we have, yeah, we got it. I'm upset, but like I said, if my mini me doesn't get sick that is all that matters mm -hmm. and she's perfect and healthy mm -hmm. so guys for now a deal and good night goodbye i don't even know what i'm saying anymore